We then have this question on the board to consider. Let's read the question together and see. Two isotopes of carbon are C13, that is carbon 13, and C12, that is carbon 12. The ratio of the isotopes are 1 ratio 90. Calculate the RAM of carbon. Once again, looking at this question, what do we do? We bring out the data that was given to us, what we know. It's a strategy, bringing them out, our carbon 13, that is carbon with mass number 13, has the ratio 1, you can see. Then carbon of mass number 12 has a ratio 90. You know, when ratio is given, usually it's given in order of the arrangement of the original quantities. Now that we have this, you can see that from the question, what was given to us is mass number and what? Ratio. It means we are going to rely on this formula, okay, to calculate our RAM. And what's the formula? Summation, that is add together all AI times RI. Where this AI, of course, is mass number, and then RI represents what? The ratio. So we're going to do mass number times ratio plus another mass number times ratio. There are two isotopes here. So, like, in this case, we're going to have AI for the first one, let's say carbon 13. Let's say it is... Uh, a1, that is mass number 1, and the value is what? 13, and then we have uh, R1, the ratio of that, uh, carbon 13, is 1. Then also, we have uh, A2, the mass number of carbon 12, is 12, and then the ratio, R2, is 90. Good. So, with this thing, what do we do? Just multiply A1 times R1. That's the summation name, um, and then you do A2 times R2. Then add both of them together. And that's what we did here. 13 times 1 for A1 times R1. Then 12 times 90 for A2 times R2. Add them together, you have the summation. Then divide everything by summation of the given ratios. And of course, the ratios here are 1 and what? 90. So we're going to add the two ratios together. What you don't need to do is to serve. Punch your calculator, multiply 13 by 1, 12 by 90. All over 1 plus 90, you have it here. If you walk through this, you're going to have the RAM of carbon to be 12.01. Now, don't forget what happens here. You see that the formula we used in this case is the ratio related formula for calculating the relative um, atomic mass because in the question they gave us mass number and what? The ratios of those carbon isotopes. I want to state here why you should please value your foundation. The things you learn from primary school, the things you learn from secondary school, very, very important. Please, this formula, I worked on it, bringing it out from the knowledge of ratio, which is being taught in the primary school setting. So, do not neglect any knowledge. You just do not know when it's going to be very much helpful to you.